Hello guys, welcome to Amit Things. In this video, we will see how we can easily run our first pandas, uh, that is pandas program on Google Colab. So pandas is a library, but on Google Colab, you don't need to install it because Google Colab comes pre-installed with uh, some of the well-known uh, data science and machine learning libraries. That includes your uh, NumPy, pandas and matplotlib, so you don't need to install it. So let us see how we can set up and run our first pandas program on Colab. At first, I'll go to file and create a new notebook. Let us first name it. I'll name it, let's say, any name, Amit Pandas. Now, what I'll do, I'll import the Pandas library. I told you we don't need to install it. It comes pre-installed with Google Colab. So, I'll just write import Pandas and I'll just give an alias using as, let's say it's PD. Okay, now guys, what I'll do, under our first Pandas program, I'll create a Pandas series. A Pandas series is basically a column in a table. You can consider it as a column in a table or it is a 1D array you can say. It is a one dimensional array which is holding data of any type. It can be integer string any type. So herein we will create a simple panda series from a list for a sample example. So let us first create a list. I'll name it my list and I am just giving three elements in it. Now I'll take a variable and within that I'll just create a simple pandas series using series method. I am using the pd here that is the pandas library, the alias of pandas which we created dot I'll just write the series method and under that I'll just pass the my list okay that's it. So this is how you can create a series uh, from a list in pandas just a simple example. Now I'll just run it okay print let's say I'll just type oh, this is my series okay print res the result this is our series okay now to run it i'll just directly click on this here is the output you can see we can also change it a little bit i'll just mention slash n here and i'll run it again now that's fine okay so 0 1 2 is our index Okay, the values are labeled with their index number by default because we haven't mentioned index in our series. Okay, so I'll just change it to let's say some other number so that there is no confusion with the index numbers. Okay, let me add more content to it. Uh, this is fine now. Okay, when I'll run it now you can easily understand what I just discussed about series and the, and the index numbers. Here it is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 are our index numbers and these are our list elements. Okay. Okay, you can also go to file and save this. You can directly save it in drive github, but I'll save it here. It will automatically get saved in Google Drive because Google Colab belongs to Google. Okay, so they have this compatibility feature of directly saving it to Google Drive. So guys, in this video we saw how we can easily run our first pandas program on, on Google Colab. If you like the video, do subscribe to our channel Amit Things.